Okay, so this device is actually uh, contain a uh, amplifier here, and uh, I can now control the frequency uh, of the uh, the sound through this scope, and uh, this amplifier will actually amplify the signal and uh, produce a sound wave and try to actually uh, isolate this uh, glass. Okay, so we are going to do this experiment. So uh, we will need to change the light setting a bit because the sound is going to be probably too loud just for safety. Some of you may not survive. <laughs> so I'm handing out this. Okay, who is closer? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I don't need that. <laughs> okay. So, so just for safety, I will put this on. And uh, what I'm going to do is also put this glass on, right? Okay, maybe I do this first. <sighs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is to start producing sound wave. So through the camera, you should be able to see uh, what is actually shown in, on the screen. Uh, so you can see uh, this. Uh, uh, you can you, you can see that if uh, if this uh, glass is actually moving, the wood inside will also vibrate. Okay. So you can see that clearly we don't have uh, resonance yet. So what I am going to do is to increase the frequency and see what happens. So now it's so now it's actually the uh, 643. It's actually still below the resonance uh, frequency. Now I have measured the uh, frequency should be 684. So now it's actually 653, 663 hertz, 673 hertz. Can you see the movement? You cannot see the movement still yet. 683. You see, you see now the frequency of the sound is actually matching with the natural one of the natural frequency of the glass. Okay, apparently the glass like it. <laughs> okay, and uh, now you can see that uh, it still start vibrating. And the, the next step, which we are, we are going to do, is to try to increase the amplitude increase the, the volume of the sound and see what happens. Maybe you want to cover your ear just for safety. Okay, then the, then the, the uh, glass may break if we are lucky, okay? Let's see. 